what's up guys it's bb welcome back to my channel so festival season is upon us she's back she's here it's time and i haven't done a what's in my bag for festivals in about two years since then i now use a completely different bag i bring some different stuff and i just wanted to share that with you guys as events are starting to come back. The first one is this weekend, which is Ubby Dubby. I will not be in attendance, but if you're going, have so much fun, stay safe, be aware of your surroundings, all that good stuff. Yeah, today we're going to talk about what I have in my festival bag for 2021. So there are going to be some new things because obviously of COVID and just trying to be as safe as possible. So I will show you guys everything and the bag I'm going to be showing you is a lunchbox. I've talked about Lunchbox on my channel before. I am an ambassador with them. I now have a new affiliate link with them, which I'm super excited about. I'll explain in a second and have it linked down below. But I do wanna make the point that this video is not sponsored. They did not ask me to film this. This is just me trying to help you guys be as prepared as possible for festival season and have the best bag and have everything that you need. So yeah, not sponsored. However, yes, I do finally have my own personal affiliate link with them. So the way it works is when you go on the website to buy a lunchbox, add it to your cart and then go to the customized page, pick out a skin, any of the skins from our collection, add it to your cart, apply code BB and that skin will become completely free to you. So you end up saving about 20 to $25 depending on which one you choose. So it's a steal. I highly recommend. You guys know you've heard me talk about this bag time and time again. So if you've been waiting to buy one, now's the time to pull the trigger on it, in my opinion, with events coming back. And yeah, the link will be down below. Let's just get started. So this is the lunchbox for my first festival back, which is going to be EDC Las Vegas, which I talked about in a previous video. Um, I'm going to be bringing the black 2.0, which I'm really excited about. And I just have this rainbow reflective snakeskin skin on the front, which I'll insert a picture because it looks so sick with flash. Um, but like I said, if you use my code and want to get another skin, they have all these different ones and you just zip it on and zip it off. And it's great because it's like you have almost a new bag for each day of an event or each event in general. Um, but yeah, I will definitely be using this skin for one day at EDC. I love it so much. And yeah, I guess let's just jump right into it. Some things that you won't bring in your bag necessarily, but you should never ever forget to bring. First of all, your wristband. Um, obviously, some events are going to be different this year. You might not get them shipped to you beforehand. You might have to just pick them up at the event. But if they are shipped to you before, do not forget it. This is so, 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 so important. Second of all, face mask. I'm not going to be surprised if events for the rest of the entire year require face masks. Make sure you have one. You can buy so many different ones that match your outfits now. And Wearing a mask at a festival should not be an issue for any of you ravers. Like, come on, we've been wearing these for years. Don't be a baby. You also want to bring your ID. So important. They are very strict with what kind of IDs you can show at the gate. Usually it's just a state driver's license or a passport. Like, you can't show a student ID. And then last necessity is cash or credit cards. Again, depends on the event because some festivals are completely cashless. Like, I know, I think Electric Zoo did this the last time I went where you just load up money on your wristband beforehand and that way when you are at food vendors, drink vendors, you don't use cash or card, you just tap your wristband and it just kind of, I feel like a lot more festivals are going to be adapting that because it reduces the amount of contact you have with people. So just make sure you do your research beforehand and if you need to put money on your wristband, do that and then you don't have to bring your cash or your credit cards. And this is really important, and this is a little life hack. If it is going to rain at the festival that day or it's on the forecast and you're bringing cash and cards, put them in a waterproof bag or a plastic bag inside of your hydration pack or fanny pack or whatever it is because they will get soaked and ruined and we don't want that. And that kind of ties into the first item that you should bring if it is going to be needed as according to the weather forecast and that is a rain poncho so normally i will bring this to the city that i'm traveling to to go to the event but if i don't need it the day of i don't need it the day of and i leave it at the hotel or the airbnb or whatever it is so you can get these for so cheap this one was $1.50 at five below. So it's just a good thing to have. I didn't think I needed this at EDC Orlando the first day and then it poured and I didn't have it and I was miserable. So now moving into the bag, um, let's start with this little pocket right here. It's actually a fan pocket, which is so, so nice. So I have this 
huge fan these are so clutch for festivals i never used to bring them because i never really had a place in my bag to put them like there was never a pocket for them that worked but now i have a lunchbox it has the exact pocket that you need for it so i will be bringing this this one's huge i will be bringing it to edc because i'm also i haven't really talked about my edc plans yet but i am camping so if you're doing camp edc hi hello we'll be friends um but it's gonna be hot as fuck so i'm bringing a giant ass fan also i always make sure that my these are actually string lights so they actually turn on and you can make them flash so before i go to events i just make sure that the battery pack has working batteries in it so that's an important thing to know before you go and to have ready and then basically on the straps there are these two little mesh pockets right here this one i keep my phone in which is nice because it's right on me i can feel it on me at all times because phones are so easily stolen at festivals so when i have it in this pocket i can feel it at all times it's right on me but it's also out of my hands which is super important and then in this little pocket right here, hand sanitizer. So I will be having this again at close hand in this mesh pocket at all times. A lot of times with the porta potties, which I hope this won't be a fucking issue anymore because of COVID, but a lot of the times they run out of like the soap and water in the little like makeshift sink areas and the porta potties. We have hand sanitizer and just like to keep putting it on throughout the night to make sure we're all clean so hand sanitizer super important and we will probably have to bring it sealed because as with things like this and like gum and chapstick you usually have to bring it in in a sealed package so this probably would not fly because it's unsealed so i'll be getting a sealed one for edc and then and this is kind of a life hack kind of similar to what i just said with the hand sanitizer and the phone things that you need often i recommend keeping on the outside of your bag in some way so that you can just grab it easily like the fan my phone hand sanitizer and then i also have hanging from this strap at the bottom these are actually my earplugs which i will show you so when i need to like actually put earplugs in when i'm by the stage i just unscrew this from the bottom of my bag and it's already right in front of me which is so so easy and i have the ones from zound so they're basically like they're engineered so that they lower the decibel level of the music but they don't muffle it which is key because i always used to use the foam earplugs but they just completely like they just ruin the music so now i have these which i'm super excited about and i'm just gonna keep them hooked onto my bag like this because i take my earplugs in and out a lot like when i'm walking between stages or like doing other things at the festival where i'm not like deep in the crowd at a huge stage i won't keep them in but once I go into the crowd at a set, then I put them in. Now we will actually go to what is inside the pockets. And basically on Lunchbox, the two main pockets are against your back, which I like because no one will steal anything from you. So in this bottom pocket, you actually have your bladder for your water. But I'm also going to start keeping my Pixel Whip in here. I recently got a Pixel Whip as a gift from a friend. And hi, Troy, if you're watching this. Um, and I'm excited to start bringing it to festivals. I'm keeping it in this little bag because it gets like super tangled and I just don't want it to get messed up in my bag. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Maybe I'll insert some videos of me practicing. I'm not good yet, but we're getting there. And I'm excited to bring this like to an actual event, to a festival for the first time. Another necessity for me, which another great thing i love about lunchbox i swear this isn't sponsored guys it's just literally the best fucking product okay because the skins zip on and off there's actually space under it in the front to fit something so i actually put my pashmina in the front of the bag which is so clutch because when you get to the festival during the day it's usually hot as hell and you don't want to wear pashmina when it's that hot however once the sun goes down and it gets a little chilly having this is so clutch this is absolutely a necessity for me at festivals and it just has so many different uses like you can wear it around you at a set if you're like chilly or whatever and then also if you want to like sit down on the ground but let's say it's like black top or like grass or muddy then you can kind of like sit on this instead of just putting like your bare ass on the ground because us ladies do not wear a lot of clothing to these things now this top pocket is where i keep basically everything else so i actually finally invested in a portable charger if you've seen my old what's in my festival bag video i say i've never owned one of these 
I know all my friends thought I was fucking crazy when I said I ordered one for the first time but I just figured like EDC I'm camping I know they have power outlets in the tent but EDC is just a long fucking festival <laughs> like that shit goes until six in the morning and then at camp the after parties go until 10 this is probably gonna come in handy it is a little heavy which sucks but also the other thing that's really nice is that you can keep this in the top pocket and then string it through there's like a little there's two little holes in the lunchbox at the top where you can string the lights but you can also string a phone charger through and then through your shoulder straps you can charge your phone while it's in the mesh pocket even though the portable charger is in your bag so that is super clutch moving along tissues or wipes again i hope because of covid they will do better <laughs> at festivals with this stuff but in porta potties there's normally no toilet paper left so i always bring tissues or wipes wipes are honestly more clutch because then you can use them to like clean your hands they just have a lot of different uses so i will probably be bringing wipes instead of tissues but either works to each their own next disposable camera i always bring one of these i just really like film pictures i think they're fun i like having the physical copies and then i also get digital copies but yeah i just love these um i bring them to pretty much every event and rave i go to so diffraction glasses or goggles these are so much fun um you can get them pretty much anywhere like amazon iheart raves whatever it is i have these ones which were like a promo thing from okeechobee but yeah you just put them on and they like make the stage and all the lights and everything look super cool they're fun to pass around in the crowd i always like to bring these maybe actually i'll start putting these in one of the mesh pockets in the front because I like to have them at close hand, but yeah, these are really fun. Highly recommend. Next important thing, sunglasses. I always am so sure that I have these with me before I go because my eyes are so sensitive to the sun. And when you're looking at the stage and it's boiling hot and the sun is beating down on you, you need these. I prefer the sunglasses that don't have like the little pieces in the middle because then if you put them up on your head and they have those pieces, they can like fuck up your hair. And if you have braids in, or another hairstyle like that then it just completely fucks your hair up so try to get ones that don't have that in the middle but yeah these are so so important i also bring a ripple um if you don't know what these are it's essentially a vape but it's nicotine free and it's literally just like essential oils so i used to smoke and vape i quit i've been actually a year and a half clean around the time that i posted this video I don't really get bad cravings anymore, but when I'm out or like at events and festivals, sometimes I just like to make sure that I'm not going to fall back on nicotine. So I like to have one of these with me. Um, I normally bring the mint ones because they have like more of a throat hit than this one. This one is just the green tea, like power flavor. Um, I'll link them down below. They're really cool. If you're trying to quit, I highly recommend these. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have just so I have the peace of mind of knowing that like I don't need to smoke like I have one of these and it literally just works like a normal vape like Wow Oh my god, Maddie fucking smokes. Okay, next up chapstick like I said, you usually have to bring it sealed so this one It's technically unsealed, but I kind of like somehow left like the top wrapper on so maybe they wouldn't care if i brought this one in but yeah always bring chapstick um this one has spf in it too which is super important and make sure you put on sunscreen on your face before you go and your shoulders and whatever part of your body is exposed because you do not want to sunburn at a festival so uncomfortable gum again it pretty gum is like the one thing where if it's not sealed they kind of bitch at you about it. So if you're going to have any of these items be sealed, make sure it's the gum. They're a little crazy about it. So yeah, I always bring a packed hair tie. Obviously, this kind of depends on what hairstyle you're wearing to the festival. But I just find, like, often... I never really do anything too extravagant with my hair. Like, I've never done, like, the um, extension braids or colorful... Co English. Colorful braids or anything like that. But, like, when I leave my hair down like this, oftentimes by the end of the night... I'm just sick of it being in my face because I have really long hair, so I just like to bring a hair tie just in case. If your shoes are not broken into yet, band-aids. Even if like you've tried them on and they feel fine, but you haven't worn them to a festival yet, please bring some of these. Also, you could go to the med tent and get them, but like 
why do that when you can just bring this tiny ass fucking thing in your bag, you know? Next up, and I actually found these while I was repacking and finding all of my old festival stuff to kind of compile it for this year. These little emergency kits from, I used to buy them at Sephora. I don't know if they have them anymore. If they don't, I'll find them somewhere and link them down below. But it's this fucking tiny. This has everything you will ever need in it. I don't bring everything that's in it to festivals. However, some things are just so fucking clutch in here. Like for example, I have these, these are like tiny ass, look how small that is. These are like breath freshener drops, which are so clutch. I'm gonna be camping at EDC, like I said. And so I just like feel, I've never camped before. I know everyone says that I'm like super spoiled by having camp EDC as my first camping experience. Cause it's very like upgraded camping. But I just like, if my, like I'm crazy about hygiene, like brushing teeth and like, I just like need to feel clean and so I will be bringing these because it will just make my mouth and everything feel cleaner. There's other like little things in here like they have like a stain remover wipe in case you were to need that. They have, look at this, they have like these mini deodorant wipes in there. They have a tiny ass like sewing kit, like a tiny ass bottle. This is fucking hairspray. Look at this. You see how small that is? It is fucking hairspray. Like what the hell? They literally have so much stuff in here that could be so, so useful. So I'm going to find this online and link it down below. I used to bring those to all my dance competitions <laughs> when I was younger because it has everything you could ever possibly need. Um, okay. What is this? Oh my fucking God. Okay. This is an alka <laughs> I get horrible heartburn. Like it's embarrassing. I'm only 22 and I feel like I'm 45 um with the amount of heartburn that i get but this is like a mini it's just a one in a packet and it's an alka seltzer like gum so if you have heartburn then it's like a fast acting relief thing so this or like tums but again make sure it's sealed um if you are like me and get horrible heartburn so that is everything that i bring into festivals i know this video was kind of long but i hope this was helpful um this bag is such a fucking game changer like i've said time and time again so link down below if you would like to purchase one that's it for this video um again if you're going to ubw have a wonderful time and like i said my first festival will be edc las vegas so which is so soon also oh my god i literally can't believe how soon it is but i will see you guys in my next video i hope you have a wonderful beautiful day and stay safe and stay healthy bye guys